On my ribs, I've got Follow Your Dreams. That was sort of a, yeah, a big one to get for me when I first started out at, at Perth Glory. It was in my second year. It was one of those tough times where I sort of was thinking about, was this really what I want to do? And obviously it was something that I've, I've dreamt of since I was 10, 11. I'm Josh Risden, and this is the story of my ink. Two weeks out from the first game, we had a weekend off and I went down to, to Bunbury to see my family and all that sort of stuff. Pretty much didn't want to leave. Ended up staying for three or four days and got my dad to call the coach saying, yeah, I don't really want to come back. And it was not, that, that life really wasn't for me. And I wanted to just stay back with my family and I don't know, maybe get a regular job. So yeah, I stayed for three or four days, but yeah, I owed it to my, to my parents. It was around October and they said just to get out to Christmas. And if you still don't want to do it, and then that's fine to come back. So I ended up going back up to training. I think it was the second day I got back. I went and got that tattooed on me just to remind myself to keep following my dreams because it was something that I dreamt of for 10, 12 years beforehand that I want to be a professional player and um, funnily enough uh, I ended up starting and probably had the best uh, year of my career that year and then yeah obviously just look down on that and just there's going to be tough times but just remember that you're living out a dream that you dreamt of yeah, since I was 10. It's uh, yes yeah, it says family forever always first no matter what I guess just because um, my family mean everything to me. I grew up with uh, two brothers, a sister, and, um, and my mum and dad, and, they, and yeah, they mean the world to me. They've made a lot of sacrifices to, to get where I am today. My old man's actually not a fan of tattoos. He loves a few of mine, obviously for the meaning. Probably my Yoshi one was, was the biggest reaction. He actually said, why have you got that dinosaur on your leg? And then I've got my siblings' birth dates as well on, on my leg. I've always got an excuse to get a tattoo, but um, yeah, I've got the siblings and, and my parents' initials as well. Got a few tattoos for my wife. Obviously recently got married, so I got her initial on my, on my wedding ring finger. Yeah, she's been a massive support for me through my career. We've been together for six years now. And she's, yeah, helped me through a lot of tough times. And so her name's Ebony. We met at a nightclub called Cheek, which I've, I've actually got tattooed on me as well. Her name, as you put in my phone that night, Ev's from Cheek, which has uh, pretty much stuck, is a nickname for her. My whole family called her that and um, ended up, yeah, getting that tattooed on me. Our anniversary of when we first started dating, tattooed on me. She's brought a lot out of me. She's probably given me a lot more confidence, not only just in everyday life, but on the field as well. She's uh, very complete opposite to me. She's very bubbly, talkative. I'm sort of a bit more conserved and, and shy and don't really speak too much. So you could say she speaks for the both of us. There was a tough time um, where I sort of probably wanted to give up the game and I wasn't really in the best headspace and didn't really know where football would take me. She definitely helped me through that a lot. and. Um, She's been very supportive through everything. Um, just like leaving the day after our wedding, um, she, she copped it on the chin and flew out to Turkey um, to go into camp. Uh, yeah, obviously preparing for the World Cup. Obviously going to the World Cup and being able, being able to play all three games was, was amazing. Didn't see my wife for three weeks, obviously speaking back and forth and FaceTime and stuff like that. Yeah, she got to come over for the World Cup. Um, she was there to support me in that. We got a honeymoon straight after the World Cup. When, when times are tough or when you're trying to find that extra bit of motivation, you think about your family and how they've helped you to get where you are today. Especially my parents. Before I moved to Perth, they were driving me to and from Perth to training five, six times a week. So it took a lot out of them. That was one of the main reasons I, I moved to Perth because it was yeah, just getting too much. So yeah, definitely in, in a way, um, the World Cup was a, a payback to, for all the hard times that, that they went through as well. They're addictive. <laughs> I'm always constantly thinking about um, what else I can get and I've always got pictures on my phone of what I want and, and stuff like that. Tattoos are more common now, they're, whether they're um, meaningful, artistic and, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I've had a few people uh, refer to them as tough stickers. No, I don't, don't seem like that. I feel, yeah, they mean a lot to me um, to have them on my body.